Hi, it's John. I'm face to camera today and not so much the hands only. Um, as you can probably hear from the mysterious echo, but I'm actually back in the uh, hotel room of an evening time now. I've uh, just got uh, had a chance today to go to uh, Leeds, Leeds University, and uh, where Farnell Stroke Element 14 were actually uh, doing a demo. And uh, I managed to wangle one of these, uh, and they graciously give me one. Uh, along with some box of goodies, which is all very nice. Um, so I've got Raspberry Pi. Unfortunately, no way of powering it up, so uh, it's a bit lonely. But uh, at least we'll have a chance to actually look at what's changed, what's uh, actually exactly the same as uh, previous models. So uh, onwards and upwards. See you there. Okay then, so uh, I'm stuck in the hotel room and... Uh, Raspberry Pi is deboxed, and uh, you get the usual things safety instructions because you've always got to be safe with a Raspberry Pi. Quick start guide, which I haven't had a chance to read yet. Obviously, the box, nothing much to see there. And here we are with the actual Raspberry Pi itself. And um, I think you'll find it actually does look very similar to the uh, Raspberry Pi B2. And uh, many things have remained the same. It's obviously still got, still got the same 40 pin connector, the uh, DSI, and I believe that is the CSI, and the audio. And uh, other things which remain the same are the same actual 10100 stroke uh, quad. USB hub, so that's the same. So any problems with that? Well, it was exactly the same, I would imagine. Um, what certainly isn't the same is a new Broadcom BCM two eight three seven, which is sixty four bit quad core CPU at uh, one point two gigs. Um, they beefed up the actual power supply, so now you can draw of the order of two and a half amps. Presuming you're supplying two and a half amps in, of course. So, if you have four peripherals, you've actually got a chance in powering all those, and maybe most of this without uh, any issue. Anyway, so um, going forwards, the most obvious thing as we move over here is the actual uh, antenna. So this is the chip antenna. Now, there's no no um, obvious sign of the rest of the Wi-Fi but uh, you'll see where that goes in a moment now let's just put it over here, so it's HDMI and uh, the usual micro USB and uh, just for kicks there we go tail end view usual one nick on the left for USBs and uh, on the rear we uh, See a few little th things, both the same and different. So this is the same chip as in the B2, I believe. This is the one giga, one gigabyte uh, Epedia uh, LDDR2, LPDDR2. So it's exactly the same, really. So I'm not expecting any radical improvement in performance for the memory accesses. I would imagine if any uh, real improvements would come from the actual clock speed of the uh, CPU underneath. Anyway, the, over here we have the uh, micro SD card and uh, a few changes. Uh, what have we got here? We've got fuses. So that's the uh, probably a somewhat larger looking fuse than before. That's the normal poly fuse. Uh, this little shiny object here is the actual uh, Wi-Fi chip itself, Wi-Fi and wi -Fi and Bluetooth. Now, um, it doesn't really look much. It doesn't say anything at all either. Uh, it's just obviously bonded probably upside down like a flip chip and uh, just stuck down to the deck. So uh, we really can't see much there. It's obviously designed for... Um, very large production. 
no markings, no doubt all that will come out as and when. Now, uh, that's pretty much it at the moment. So all we've done is actually prove it exists. It's no longer fiction. You can go out there and buy those today from, say, Farnell or CPC or maybe RS even. So uh, that should be should be fine. Uh, I've obviously stocks are uh, running out as we speak. So uh, get them in there. But uh, hopefully by the end of the week we shall have this thing fired up and we'll be running benchmarks, etc. But uh, I thought I wanted to get this out to you today just so um, you get a chance to see what, um, what the pie actually looks like. Best of luck. Cheers. Okay then, yeah, nearly forgot. And um, if you've enjoyed this little video here and... Uh, you want to see some more, preferably with um, actual working electronics rather than just the picture, then um, by all means hit the subscribe. I'm not sure where it'll end up being, probably up there somewhere. Um, then uh, next time we have something on there, you'll be the first to see it. Good luck. See you later.